Happening today, more than 450 companies will make their way to downtown Indy. It's part of the National Sweet and Snacks Expo. This is the first trade show to happen in the Circle City since the pandemic. Our Aaliyah Blackburn joins us now from the newsroom. So Aaliyah, why did event organizers choose Indy for this event? Well, the National Confectioners Association says Indy is the best option to safely host in-person events, and that's because of its many investments into health and safety. Visit Indy says about $7 million went into upgrades inside the Indiana Convention Center last summer. That includes top-of-the-line filtration and cleaning systems. Senior Vice President Chris Gall says those investments allowed the center to safely host a little more than 100 events. He says Indy's success is catching the eye of heavy hitters across the country. That includes the Sweets and Snacks Expo, which moved from Chicago to come here this year. We know that's catching the attention of other event organizers. And so while we've hosted basketball tournaments and volleyball tournaments and football games, while we've hosted smaller conventions and events, this is the first major trade show and it's being it's sought after. This year we're expecting over 8,000 people and that means for over 450 retailers. So we'll have a lot of a, a large presence in downtown Indianapolis at the convention center this year. And a ribbon cutting will kick off the expo this morning. That's set for 845 at the convention center. We're told the governor and the mayor will be there. And meanwhile, excitement is brewing for Indy's first trade show of the year. Organizers say this expo is expected to bring in around $7 million for the city. In the newsroom, Malia Blackburn, Box 59 News. All right, Aaliyah, thank you.